you're in college and you just finished up a few of those semesters, right? You got them done and you're on your way to a successful degree, but you realize that your life's kind of taking a toll, right? You're having fun, you're enjoying this quote unquote like college experience, but what does your future look like? And so in this video, I'm going to give you the seven steps that I would utilize and steps that I actually did utilize in my college career and how you can actually come out of college with a successful path instead of coming out and having no clue what to do. And so the first way that you can capitalize on your college time, the time that you are there, is going to be getting up early. See, there is a lot of pool and going to be a ton of peer pressure into going out, um, drinking, partying, uh, staying out late, whatever it may be. But guys, right now is a time for you to get ahead. See, so many of those, all those other kids are going to be going out partying or going to be drinking. And right now is your time where you can actually beat your competition. And I'm not saying that you don't need to go out and drink, right? I'm not saying that you can't go out and party with friends. No, simply what I'm saying is you are going to have to understand that you're going to sacrifice sacrifice a little bit of your sleep, a little bit of your health if you're going to go do those things. And really and truly, you're already sacrificing that health. And so what I would just recommend is that if you are going to go out and party, just do an hour. Set a limit where you say, you know what, no matter what, I'm going to be heading home at this certain time and make sure that you have limited to few drinks at all. What I would do is simply have a beer in my hand and walk around and I would have one beer every single night. During that time, People wouldn't ask me for drinks and stuff because I had one, but it would just slowly go down and I would just utilize that for an hour, two hours, however long I wanted to stay out and only have one drink. So the next morning I was up, awake and ready to go take on the day. The second way that you can be capitalizing on your college career is going to be by setting a budget. I imagine you're probably getting money from your parents and they're still, uh, you're obviously gonna be dependent on them somewhat. You may not be in props for you if you're out there going to college and also uh, have a job on top of that, but if your parents are financially taking care of you while you're in college, try to set a limit of the money that you are receiving and instead use that for your food, your groceries, the things that you need and the other side use that for savings for uh, development in your business wherever you may be doing things whatever you may be doing try to limit your usage of financial capital with your daily expenses and instead save that money for a better future for yourself I would highly recommend the book money master the game by Tony Robbins this book changed my life when it comes to looking at money understanding when I'm getting money from a salary from parents from my own business I need to distribute that in a way in which it can be successful for for my future, the things that I want to do in my life. And doing that at an early age, starting it while you're in college, while everyone's out there eating ramen noodles, right? The broke college kid, it's okay to do that now. Later on, it's not gonna be as okay. The third way that you can capitalize on you being in college is going to be setting a calendar. When you set your calendar, set a planner, obviously you're gonna have tests, obviously you're gonna have things going on in school itself, but try to plan outside of that. Try to plan events with friends, like going out and exploring, because quite honestly, college gives you a lot of free time on the weekends and things when you're not studying. And yes, you maybe have a test coming up. Obviously those weekends don't go out, don't go plan something then, but make sure that when there's those down times that you have some capabilities to go out and adventure go explore like this is your time to really go out and do things that you're not going to be able to when you get bogged down with responsibilities and things like you are free and go experience it with all the other kids who are free with you but no one else is going to plan it you are going to have to set that and you need to first put it in your schedule so it works for your calendar and then invite people and friends to go on with you. With that comes the fourth way to utilize your college experience and that's going to be socializing. Obviously college brings together a ton of people who are like actually looking to be successful where instead of going uh, or being born in your hometown and having to interact with people who were just born in this one time, in this one place, in this one world, like instead of it just being coincidence, you actually get to choose your friends in college. See, this gives you an opportunity opportunity and openness to like, you have the freedom to go out and pick the friends you want to hang around with and the people that you want to be. And I really recommend just being yourself. Those friends will come and then you can truly like make everlasting friends, people that will last a lifetime. And college really gives you that opportunity to socialize and make these interactions. There's different social groups. There could be like a, like an intramural sports team or something, right? Where you can join and you can interact with people and just socialize, network, like build out your 
yourself as a person and someone who actually can help other people and give value to those people so that eventually you can create friends, you can create connections and inevitably they'll come to you for whatever they may need. And with that comes the fifth way to utilize your college career. And that's really going to be extending your relationships that you had in your past. See, don't let those die. The relationships that you had in your past with your hometown, with your high school friends, those were still good relationships. Obviously you had them for a reason. You created those friends for a reason and there's no reason why you shouldn't continue those throughout college. Yes, you can bring on new friends. Yes, you can meet no more people, but that doesn't mean that you have to have a certain limit, right? Continue to grow, continue to expand your network, build more friends, build more people, but continue to nourish and foster those relationships that you had in your high school career, specifically with your family. Go ahead and call your mom. Go ahead and, and continue that relationship with your brothers, your sisters, your mom, your dad, your friends from high school. See, these will tend to fade away if you do not nourish them because inevitably they are looking from a call from you. You are not going to get many calls from them. Yes, your mom may call you from time to time, your dad may call you, but really and truly when you call them and go the extra mile to reach back out to them is going to help far more than if you just waited on them and said, hey, I'm building my life out here. If you wanna call and be in my life, then you can be. Why not be in theirs? Why not give them that foundation, that support that they need and continue to build your relationships outside as well? The sixth way to utilize college is going to be utilizing those resources that the college gives you. When you join college, you're gonna have things like uh, different meal plan services. You're gonna have uh, a gym. See, this is when I was skinny and I started utilizing those, all the food that I was getting to bulk up and put on some muscle. I started training hard and, and really and truly college, yes, I was focused on studying and getting good grades, but I was focused on building myself as a man, as a person, and just making sure that my life when I left college was going to be better when I got in, right? And particularly, I was focusing on my body, my health, my mental health, my physique, all of those things, right? I really focused on during that first, second, and third year, um, just to make sure that I was going to get what I wanted out of it, plus an education on top. And so utilizing resources like the gym, like food, even talking to your professor, if you want to start your own business, well, go up to one of those business professors who maybe has done a little bit of that and has some knowledge in it and ask them a question. Try to figure out like how you can get ahead and use them as a mentor instead of just a teacher who you're where you're just another name in a group of people. No, instead go up and be that one-on-one -on -one mentor because really and truly I missed out on this when I was in college, when I could have went up and asked questions that he would have probably helped me with and ones that would help my business further and grow while I was still in college. And lastly, this brings us to our final way that you can utilize your current college career. And that's going to be keeping all of the free time and assigning stuff and responsibilities to that. So obviously you're gonna have studying, obviously you're gonna have tests, Obviously, you're gonna be needing to go to classes, do these things, but outside of that, you have a ton of free time. Do not just go out and waste it. Don't go out partying, drinking, doing pointless stuff that isn't going to help your future. Yes, you can do that from time to time but really and truly set some sort of side hustle that you can focus on, probably something online because it's right now the best time to do that. Build something online. It doesn't matter what people say about you, what they think about you, because inevitably you are the one that's building this for your future. You must be different in order to succeed, which means people are going to talk about you. They're going to say things, but that doesn't matter because you truly focusing on yourself, on a side hustle, on your business, whatever it may be, while you have this free time now, is going to set you so far forward so far ahead whenever you get out of college that you are able to hit the ground running, continue with what you're doing, build it out and go so much further than everyone else who's going to get out of college and start at square one. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you are currently in college and you want to figure out a way to utilize those hormones that are boosting right now, go ahead and click this video right here.